Hey guys, what's up? Uh, back with another video. I'm gonna preface this by just saying that this is kind of for people that don't understand how I go about figuring songs out on drums or for people that just, for maybe people that aren't musicians and maybe this is for kind of people who aren't musicians who maybe don't understand how I go about figuring songs out on the drums. And so this is just a little bit of what goes on in my mind behind that. I know not all of you are drummers and uh, you know, that's all right. Some people are just interested in music theory or music in general, and maybe this will help you get more interested. I don't know, maybe it'll help clear it up and make you want to learn how to play drums. It's not that hard. It honestly just takes practice. Of course, there are, if you get into rudiments and you get into some very, very intricate things, it gets very complicated and it makes my head hurt. But yeah, if you just wanna learn how to play songs, it's not that difficult. So first to figure out a song, I listen to it a ton. I learn the different sections of the song. I learn the different parts, the different mechanics, kind of the dynamic of it, the feel. I listen to everything and just try to get a good feel for it. So then that way I can break up the song within sections like the chorus, the verse, the intro, the instrumentals, break down if it's a metal song, etc. you know? And then after I do that, I break up each individual section by drum parts, like the kick, the snare, the cymbals, and how that's kind of played out. So I'm gonna go through each section of the kit and kind of explain how I think about that. Let's get started. So first and probably most important is I figure out the kick. The kick pattern could be just quarter notes, four on the floor otherwise known as, eighth notes, it could be 16th notes, it could be 32nd notes, if it's a double bass pattern or whatever. And determining that gives you a good base for literally um, the feel of the song. And um, you don't wanna overcomplicate it because then that makes it sound muddy and gross. Then the next thing I do is the snare drum. I figure out what beat does the snare get? Is it on two and four? Or is it on three? Or is it on four? At first it was kind of a feeling thing, you know, for me to kind of just figure out kind of how that fits in. But I've also been in band class for like eight years. And uh, I, I also know how to read music. Um, and if you don't, just kind of learn how to count to four and then just kind of understand how it feels and learn the timing of the snare drum. So it's not that complicated. You just have to sit down and, and just listen and figure it out. And then the next thing is the symbol. So like what symbol is being used? Is it the hi-hat, the crash, the ride? What symbol is being used and how is it being used? How is the, what's the subdivision? Again, is it quarter notes, half notes? Is it eighth notes? Is it 16th notes? How is it like, is it a 16th note groove on the hi-hat? Is it eighth notes? Is it just quarter notes? Is it a simple rock beat? So that's kind of like what I do to go through it. So let's say for just a simple song, like I love rock and roll, okay? A lot of songs like that are just, the kick is two eighth notes right at the beginning. So it's dun, 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 okay? And then the snare would be right after that. So it would be kick, kick, snare. So and then the hi-hat is just filling in that gap with eighth notes so that's how i go about it in all the scenarios so just to recap listen to the song a lot listen to the song a lot to internalize it figure it out and then break up each individual section by the parts of the drum kit so figure out the kick the snare the symbol and figure out the subdivisions and how many counts for each of those. And then after you figure those sections out, you practice each section, then you put each section together and then you make the song. It's a lot easier said than done, but that's a good starting point for you, I think. And that's usually what I do, like I said, just to figure out songs. And even how I write songs, that's kind of how I go about thinking about it as well. It's a very it's a very systematic process, I guess, if you want to look at it like that. This is kind of how I am. I'm kind of a systematic thinker. So the process of drumming for me is easier. I don't have to remember notes necessarily, but I have to remember patterns and theory and how I go about 
doing those things. I guess it's just a little bit into my, into my brain kind of to show you how I figure things out. Maybe show you some cool B-roll that I took of my drum set and some other things. So I hope you enjoyed. Comment down below or message me if you have any questions and I will see you later. Bye. What do you think of this setup? I think it's it's pretty close to my normal setup, right? Getting down with some drum talk today. Gonna have to do this.